Hello, good afternoon. It's Anna. I'm here for my Thursday afternoon jewelry sale. I see, oh, Kathy, you're in Southern California. Hello. I, this is going to be, I'm going to auction a few items. Uh, majority is buy it now, but the prices will go, will range, um, I don't know, five and then up. I don't know exactly the ending range, but I'm going to auction a few items that I have here to see, you know, if there's any interest in them. But how's every, I see there's a few people here. How are you doing? Are you on vacation, Kathy? I have a few people here, it says. Hopefully you can hear me, see me. That jewelry box is to be used as a prop if I need to set something up on it. That's why it's hanging out back there. It's not real good scenery, is it? But, hello, hello. Wow, I have four people here now. All right, it's hard to tell how many people are actually here. But um, if you're new, welcome. Subscribe so you can speak. I do have a thing on my... Um, sat up here so you have to be subscribed in order to to chat because of um spam you know we all get sex bots and some harassment occasionally but um hi deb hi judy hi gina hi hello um yeah i'm bringing a lot of i'm bringing some i'm bringing some of the stuff i had in my video the other day a majority of it actually i didn't sell much of that yet and i'm not keeping any of it hi son so I have it here with me and I'll offer it to see some of it. I'll, I'll throw off an auction price, see if it's, you know, if anyone's interested in it. If not, I'll hold it till later. But, um, yeah, it's freezing here where I'm at. Freezing, freezing. Kathy was on for a second. Oh, hi, Mary. Good. I'm glad you got it safely and you're happy. Thank you for letting me know. Kathy may not be on any longer. She just said hello. I mean, I think she's on like... A vacation with family, maybe, or something. And I did say hi to Eugene, right? Sung, hello. All right, I'll wait till like 10 after to get started or so, somewhere around there. Yeah, I feel like I haven't been on here in a long, long time. It's only been um, a week, but it seems like a long time. Hi, Lori. Since I've been on, <laughs> it feels like, like weeks, so you know how it is when you're used to coming on and then you have a short break. We did on Monday... Or was it Tuesday? Let me think. It was Tuesday. Yeah, on Tuesday we had a lot of snow. A decent amount. A few inches. It was very wet and heavy. Um, Hi, Emily. I missed you guys too. Thank you for coming, everyone. Uh, but Eva was upset with me. Uh, the snow melted and she wanted to go to her dad's and sled ride. Because we don't have anywhere to sled ride or anything here. I don't have a yard. I'm in this apartment building. Um. And it melted the next day. She was so upset with me. She was like, you said it would still be here. I'm like, how do you expect mom to there to know that? I can't read minds. If I did, I would win the lottery. <laughs> but it was gone. It was only here one day. But it's been cold. Um, I don't know. High 20s yesterday. Oh, good. I'm glad you're happy. It took me a while to decide. I was trying to look at what you passed, ordered in the past and so forth to... Make it make something meaningful that you'd actually like. I'm glad you liked it. Um, that you're happy with it, though. Yeah, I have mostly everybody shipped out unless you just ordered over the last day or I hold you. Everybody else went out. I worked on that Monday since I wasn't on. I got everybody out Tuesday. Um, but yeah, I have I have, I have some nice jewelry today. I consider it. I have a whole bay that's marvelous. Um. I'm going to auction them and offer it at a starting bid, see if it goes. Yeah, it was really weird. We were supposed to have a rain, but it was just cold enough for it to be like a heavy, rainy snow. That's why it melted so quick. It was very heavy. She said, oh, I made a snowball out of it. Hi, Irene. She wanted to go sled right down the hill and uh, it makes snowman under dad's house. I told there will be more snow. That's what I told her. But yeah, she wasn't happy. She's. The personality where she gets upset and not very forgiving to mother for being, what is that? Oh, I got water on my computer. Okay. <laughs> I thought that I had um, a scratch on my laptop, actually. That was, but it was water. How do you like my cup? Fancy, isn't it? He's got googly eyes. It's like one of those disposable ones, but thicker. It's pretty cute. We got a reindeer and a snowman one. 
I think it's cute, very juvenile in some sense, like that. Um, yeah, Eva's not forgiving. The child was angry with me. How dare you, mother? And she told me she'd wait at seven months for the snow. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's a cute cup. It's thick. It's like one of those, looks like one of the ones you throw away, but they made it thicker. And we, they were at the dollar store. Me and Eva were shopping there the other day. Um, I got some tinsel for the bathroom to decorate the bathroom a little bit in a little tree. We're going to decorate everywhere else, too. It's just, I don't know, I felt like decorating the bathroom for some reason. But I had to go over there to get tissue paper and bubble wrap. I use bubble wrap sometimes. But anyways, yeah, like I said, if you're new here, subscribe. There's not a whole lot of people here, but somebody may be watching that's never um, been here before. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, see if you want to bid or just speak, uh, cause we won't see your comments if you're not subscribed. But, um, oh, really? Starbucks is a free cup. Where we, ha oh, let me finish the details. I'm sorry. Why can't I stay on track? I'll answer to those things in a minute. I'm so sorry. Um, oh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can speak. And if you have never bought off me, if you happen to pop in, now or after the fact, just email me here at vintage jewelry galore at yahoo.com. I just need your PayPal email address, YouTube name, and the country in which you live. PayPal is secure for both of us. That's the best way to start. Um, I do have people who pay other ways, but for the most part, um, it's PayPal. I do invoicing. Um, that's how it is now. And, you know, that way you, you can keep have track of your uh, record of what you've bought. Anyways, um, yeah, we have a Starbucks opening up in our Giant Eagle right next to, I live, where I live in the apartment building, it's like kind of in a business district right next door is the Giant Eagle, and they're opening a Starbucks in there, we're looking forward to it, <laughs> so it should be, uh, should be nice, but I, I've got to control myself, I mean, I, I'll be able to, it's the child talks me into it, you know what I mean, uh, my, not that I spoil her, but to Eva, she'll want it, she doesn't drink coffee. Let me clear that up so nobody thinks I'm giving my 12-year-old coffee. <laughs> but she likes to have a pa paradise drink that has pineapple chunks in it. Coconut milk. It's delicious. She likes that. But, yeah, I guess. Yes, yes. I brought, I'm bringing all the rhinestones except for the giant one, and I don't know who made it. I don't think it's Shriner. It's a fantasy in my head, but I'm going to check. I want to order that book. It could be. They have a, um, a snow, humongous snowflake brooch, and it's pretty amazing. If you get watch my video, look at this. This is a pretty amazing. It's wire hinged underneath. It does not have the saw or dog tooth, which Shriner calls it dog tooth. Um, that's where I got that from. It doesn't have that construction. That's amazing, isn't it? It's hooked underneath. Anyways, I don't think it's Shriner. That's just a thought of mine that made me happy thinking maybe it is. But I held on to that. That's it out of the bundles I got. That's all I kept. Hi, Becky. Um, until I figure out who it is. It's something amazing. It's humongous. And it looks brand new, but it's not. It's vintage. All of the jewelry in that lot, for the most part, those lots I got, looks pretty amazing. The whole bay is beautiful. Um, yeah, it's really nice. All right. Yeah, it is. It's, it's nice. It, it, the rhinestones are so clear. It's Somebody really took care of that. You know, they didn't like leave, lay around feather jewelry and everything. Hi, Pam. If I missed anyone, I'm, I'm sorry. There's not a whole lot of people here. I think I said hi to everybody coming in, but if I missed you, I'm sorry. Emily, I said hi to you, right? But I got some stones here. Um, I ordered a stone lot. I can, I'm going to offer those. There's a, I mean, there's some stuff I didn't show because I went shopping and I didn't do a haul video, but I'm going to offer it anyways. I don't have to show everything in the haul. And someone's been hanging out for a long time with me, and I'm going to offer it. Just I, I kind of I spent a decent amount of time picking it out. Hopefully, there's some things here you like. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind doing so. That does help. Or down if you're somebody. I, I don't care either way. I know you guys all like me that are here that said hello, but there could be somebody lurking that maybe, I mean, is it possible that somebody doesn't like me? No, I'm joking. <laughs> it is. Everybody has people that don't like them. It's part of life. 
Um, not a big deal either. I'm, and that's kind of a joke, not really funny. But anyways, I'm feeling pretty good. And uh, as of late, uh, the last couple of days have been pretty good for me. A lot of, not as stressful. Um, I treated my, my daughter, my one daughter had a badly infected thumb, not my child and not my oldest, my middle daughter. Her thumb was badly infected to the point where she could have lost it or her hand or died. But I managed to get to treat it. So I'm feeling a little bit better. She's off on her own again. <laughs> and that is, she's a grown woman. But anyways, I'm happy to be here today and my spirits are risen. Um, and I'm glad for that. Because yet, why not, right? But anyways, let me get started. I There's things here, you know, I, I kind of, did, did you see the tiny little really bad uh, preview video I did? <laughs> I just like scanned it over. I thought maybe if somebody like, because of the Hobe and so forth and the Goldfield cameo, um, somebody that would might be interested might, you know, see that or the wife. Because I mean, I do bring, I, I'll be over $30 today. Usually my oldest, yeah, she helped her. We, I took my daughter to the emergency uh, hospital, like, to get her finger treated initially. They lanced it. But, yeah, my oldest daughter is a nurse. She rebandaged it for her, and she's been trying to, you know, keep in contact with her to make sure her finger's okay. Because if she doesn't do the treatment, the like, follow-up she's supposed to do, she can help her with that. But, yeah, I have a, my oldest daughter's a nurse. And then Eva's 12, and I have a daughter that's 29. Her name's Maury. Um that's the one I had the badly infected finger. So, I mean, I was pretty consumed with worry and stress over that and other issues going on with her. But I'm not any longer. And thank you so much for being here today. I don't want to talk about that anymore. So I don't want to bring anybody else on with my mood, which is pretty good now. But it has not been the best. That's why <laughs> and we've been on a lot. I don't want to be depressed on here. Hi, Rita. It's not a good thing. Nobody needs that. We all have our own problems. All right. So I'm going to get started. It's actually 12 after, and everything for the most part to buy it now, there's a few items that will be auctioned, and I'll let you know, because then I'll type in starting bid, and I will put the starting bid in before I start showing the jewelry. Hi, Dana. And then I will, um, thanks for coming. Um, everyone, thank you for coming, obviously. Um, I saw your comment on my, uh, on the one video. Um, what was I saying? Oh, good God, I'm getting... Oh, and most things will be buy it now. Some will be auctioned. If it's buy it now, I show it, give the details, then I type in a price. All you have to do is say once. If it says B-I-N in a price and I say it's buy it now, you just type once. You can have it pre-typed. Just hit enter if you want it. Whoever comes in first gets the item. If it's a, if it's an auctioned item, it'll be, if it's under $50, I do $2 increments. If it's over $50, it's $5. And it stays that way until it sells. If I have anything that goes up that, well, I will because I have something starting that high if anybody goes for them. Um, but, um, yeah, the starting bid, I put in starting bid in the price. And then if you want it, you just put down the starting bid and then it'll go up in the increments. Uh, $2 up to 55 after 50 until it sells. So that's the difference. To buy it now, I show it and give all the details. That way you know what you're buying. I can still hold it up. I'm trying not to move too, too fast. But I'm going to start off um, in no rain or reason order here. But um, with any price thing, I don't know where to start. I have a lot of jewelry before me. All right. Let me get started, though. This is cute, isn't it? Hi, Judy. Did I say hello to you? I think I did. This is Mila Fury glass. Look, somebody like back here has um, re-glued it. I mean, it's still nice. It's a heart. It's about two and a half inches. You see that? I have a, my magnifying glass. I see. I've had, I haven't used this in a while. I don't turn the light on on this because it makes things look differently. Like the white light, I stopped doing it, but I haven't used this since Thelma's helping me. But anyways, this is glass. It's I'm calling it Mill Fury glass. Hi, Kathy. It looks like Mill Fury glass, right? Um, the back, there is some glue because they re-glued it, but it's still nice. It's red. I don't really understand how they make this stuff. Um, but it is under the layer that's not painted on top of it. I thought it was when I saw what was going on back here, but that's just, I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, if anybody wants this, oh no, I just knocked my thing down. I hope it doesn't happen. How are you doing, Kathy? Here. It's over two inches. I'll, I don't know if it's two and a half or, um, I could measure it, but I, I don't think you guys really care all that much, right? It's about two, two and a half. Glass. 
looks Miller Fury glass to me. Um, let me just put a price on it. Uh, there, I did get that in. If anybody wants this, this is 18. It's nice. Somebody did re glue the pin on the back of it, but just trying to. I don't know if it's really Mill Fury glass or not, honestly. Um, whatever. It's, I was trying to look at it and see. It's glass. It looks like, well, this one's definitely underneath the glass. You know what I mean? It's like in there. It's not a layer of paper or anything under there. That looks weird like they painted it, though. So it's it's a glass heart. We'll just say that. I don't even know if it's really Mill Fury glass or not, honestly. But it's cute. 18 inches. I mean, $18 if anybody's interested. It's hard to show details of things on here. Hold on a minute. See, it is like layered under there. All right. I think it was long enough. I'm going to pass on this. Make it a drink. And my googly eye. Okay, I'm going to pass on it. That maybe should have been less because I really don't know if it's Mill Fury glass when I look at it. Oh, it's glass with something going on with it. We'll just say that. All right. Um, This is pretty. Let me show this next. This is a rhinestone. Um, blue and clear rhinestone necklace. I guess I should get the measurement on. I can't close my tape measure. I, I did something to it when it's Sylvia made me I'm so upset. I can't get it to close, but it's it's still working. All right, from the J hook down on this necklace. This can it can be worn down to sixteen, a little over sixteen inches on this. Can be worn shorter, thirteen to sixteen. This is the one I'm like, is it vintage? I believe it is. I'm just going to hang it up. It's going to look short. Um, ow. Feeling more out of practice than normal. But anyways, it's pretty. If anybody wants this, this is the price for this. It's 12 They're fully pronged. The blue is really pretty. rhinestones all around and it's crudely made but i i think that i i don't know how old it is exactly i can't really say but it's really it's vintage all right thank you son all right let me do that for that let me find something um if there's anything anybody's looking to see and they don't know how long they're going to hang out, I don't mind you telling me. I will accommodate and show it. Um, it's not a problem with me. I don't have any rhyme or reason here today. I can't say I do. This is really beautiful. I don't know who the maker is. Look at that. Thank you, Sonia. Congratulations. Thank you. This is pretty. I guess there's, uh, I don't know how old it is, but it's vintage. Those are uh, blue AB and, um, I think these are black rhinestones there. It's very pretty. There's the back. These are soldered on. They do have the barcode across, but that's soldered onto the brooch, the pin back there. And like I said, it's a little over two inches, probably like two and a quarter. And they're all glass. That's glass. Those are black rhinestones and these are AB. Okay. Anyways, it's pretty. This is from the lot that I got. The lots. This is one of them. I will do this one if anybody wants this for 24. Hi, Irene. Oh, I already said hi. It's this is beautiful, actually. Those are blue A B, I think. Yeah, they are blue A B. A black rhinestones pronged in. You would wear it like that. It is about a little over two inches. Let me see. Yeah, actually, I think it's two inches, not a little. It's, it is two inches, not a little over. Yeah. 
I've sacrificed one of these to hang pins on. <laughs> the pin's in good shape on it, too. And I think you probably would wear it like that. I'm going to leave that later while for another one. Something else, maybe not a pin. Okay. Um, what some of these stones? I'll start showing these. All right. Um, we'll pass on that. That's really beautiful, actually. Let me put it over here. Let me, I'll keep that one. Um, I have these stone. These are quartz-like stone necklaces from the lot that I, I one of the lots I purchased online, actually. I'm going to show it. This one is has the color knife Claire. I'm going to show all three of them, and it'll be a choice. See if anybody wants some. Uh, I'm like, I want to, that way I can get them over with quicker for me and everyone else. This measures 19 inches around and it's all stone. Here's the hook. It has this, um, it's a hook class, like this type of class that it hooks in there. Hi, Sharon. Um, you have multiple stones here. That one's nice to see you have amethyst in there, and I, I think it's a venturine. There's some clear quartz mixed. Hi, Annie. Um, Lizzie, I'm, I just called you Annie. There's that one, and then there's two white ones, and these are all about the same measurement. Okay, like I said, that's 19 inches. You see the multiple colors of stone in here. There's some amethyst. There, I think that blue is like it's a venturine, and um, there's that one, and I have two clear. Fluorite, yeah, maybe fluorite. Thank you, thank you. Not a venture. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, that's what I meant. Actually, the wrong thing came out. I was thinking that, but I couldn't remember what it's called. <laughs> yeah, I think fluorite. I sold that big one of the thick, chunky pieces to Sylvia, Lady Sylvia, over. Okay, there's that, and I have two clear. These are going to be a choice. These, as you can see, have the same type of type of hook. These are clear right here, and um. So you have fluorite amethyst with a little clear on it, I think, and then two clear ones here. Hi, hi, Sarah. You see, I have three of them. I know that's probably not the best presentation, but here, let's hang this one on the beaten up thing that I sacrificed to my brooches. Fluorite amethyst pieces, and then two clears. And these are all about 19. They're around. They're 19 inches, I believe. They're, you saw they're on top of each other. The same length. Probably we'll say wearable length 18 to be safe, okay? Because of the way it hooks in. Okay. So I have two quarts and I have that one. These are and they lay flat. That's just the way I put it there. They lay nice and flat. This is the choice. Buy it now choice for these is um this price. Not that. That's way too much for these, in my opinion. <laughs> I must put 40. $18 choice for a quartz. Yes, happy Thursday. Is it next week Thanksgiving already? Imagine that. Okay, so clear quartz. These are, I'm going to say 18 inches wearable length. I have two of these. This is a choice for $18. Or the fluorite and amethyst hair. These are, um, that's about a little over an inch this way. They're the way they're put together, as you see. Yeah, at time is, it's, maybe it's an inch. I'm saying a little over, let's see. Okay. That's about an inch, we'll say. Okay. Fluorite and amethyst and two clears. Yeah, time's gone extremely fast with the Thanksgiving thing. I don't even know what I'm doing. Eva's uh, with her father that week. I'll probably be home alone crying. Okay. No interest in the stones, quartzes. This, I don't believe the findings are sterling on it, but... Yeah, it's coming fast. Christmas is coming too fast. Eva wants a bearded dragon for Christmas, and I'm not wanting to buy it. All right, I no interest in these at 18 each. That was a choice, obviously. Um, no big deal. Oh, what Pandora? Which hi Pandora? Which one would you like? This is the fluorite and amethyst, or and I have two clears. These are nice quartz. Now I don't um. I don't know. Are these rock crystal? They could be. Anna doesn't know. <laughs> I know they're quartz. They they feel and look fantastic. 
purse in there. Look at that. Looks like ice, actually. I'm out of a cup. All right, let me know which one you want, Pandora. Thank you for coming. Do you want one of them? You just want one, right? Okay, well, they, I think they're like the same length. Let me see if they're the same length. That way I can give you a choice. Yeah, yeah, we'll be, yeah, they're about the same length and thickness. So you want one of the Claire's. Sharon, okay, hi, Sharon. Okay, Pandora, I'll put one of these aside for you. Sharon, which one do you want? A Claire too? Nobody wants this? That's all right. All right, thank you. Let me put these in a bag. <laughs> thank you, ladies. I'm, I'm going to try not to move too fast. Some people have, um, you may be trying to work or you can have a leg. I know people work this time of the day. All right, Rita, you want this one for 18? Okay, thank you. Thank you, ladies. Um, I am I'm on during the work hours. And thank you, Pandora, and uh, all three of you. Thank you. Let me put that in a bag. Let me put Pandora's away. Hi, Natalie. And Pandora, hello as well. <laughs> okay. Um, 18 for this for Pandora, the clear. And then the last one was um, Rita Tillman. Okay, I'll put the fluorite and uh, amethyst for you, Rita. Thank you. I have sold you, right? I know I've probably asked that 15 times. I think I just did recently, right? <laughs> Excuse me if I have and I forgot. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, uh, Quiver. Yeah, yeah, 12 p.m. all the time Eastern time. I have Eva this week, too, so I got to leave and get to check it. Leave at 2.30. We're going to have to look at Bearded Dragon equipment. My, I think he, Crystal thinks I'm crazy. That's the oldest daughter. She's like, is Eva really another animal for Eva, right? Oh, okay. How, how, how about her? This is just going to be a buy it now, but she's beautiful. I'm going to show her to you. Okay, I got that. You wanted the, the one that was mixed, Rita. I got that for you. The, the floral one, the fluorite and um, an amethyst. I got it for you. Thank you. Yeah, I have it with your name in a bag here, Rita. Okay. All right, look at her. Did I miss anything? Amber today? Um, probably not. Who asked me that? I'm sorry. They are the same thing? Okay. It's it's just sometimes it looks... I don't, Sharon. I'm sorry. Not right now. But did I just freeze my computer? No. Okay. <laughs> I, this is very pretty. 12 karat gold filled. It took me a long time to figure out if it was gold filled or not. But look at the cameo. Beautiful she has. Look at her. Look at her. This is going to be a buy it now. So I'm going to give you the details. I'm not going to... Yeah, maybe I should auction. I don't know. I don't know exactly how old she is. She's pretty nice. This is vintage, I believe, but I didn't like. Honestly, I didn't do a lot of research on. I'm not gonna lie. It's a it's a twelve karat gold filled though. It's marked on this class pair, and this is twelve karat gold filled chain. But she's a beautiful shop car shop cameo. I think she's very lovely. I'm not exactly sure how old she is though. She's raised a little. You see that? A little raised there. But it's gold filled. It was agonizing trying to figure out if it's gold <laughs> or not. I have another one that's gold, actually. This one's gold filled. This one's pretty lovely, though. Here's the chain on it. That's gold filled as well. It's marked 120th of 12 karat. And this is 12 karat gold filled. So probably 120th again. I think that's basically how they do it, right? I did, I scratch tested it and it stayed at uh, 14K for a while, but I, I believe it's, it's not 14K. I know that. And I'm pretty certain it's gold filled because it said 12 karat, 12 KT. And um, I believe it's a gold filled one. Like I said, definitely not gold. She's pretty though, don't you think? Let me hang her up. It has a chain on it. that's at least 18 inches. Let me measure it, Anna. I'm being lazy. Um, in case she was specific on the size, but of chain, it's 24 inches. I'm gonna double it up. But she's she's very lovely, actually. Little. I 
a locket cameo pendant. Look, she has like that going around there. She has flowers in her hair. Can you see that? Her nose is uh, kind of flat, kind of not, kind of turned up. I don't know the exact dating on it. Like I said, I'm not even going to pretend like I do. Um, but she's pretty. I know that. There's the back. It's in good shape. Can you see her? I feel like my camera is like terrible. Maybe I'm too close. Wow. You can see all that tape back there. Okay. It's a car shell cameo, slightly raised with a flower in her hair and her ha hair is up. She's pretty lovely, I think. Anyways, this is what I'll take for if anybody's interested in her. $75 if anybody wants her. Gold filled chain, gold filled cameo. Very lovely cameo, actually. She's actually pretty. Not all the more. That's why I'm saying that. But, like it has the gold filled on 12KT on this piece and on here. Yeah, yeah. We, my daughter did a whole, um, my daughter did a PowerPoint on it. My She has all the details. We're starting it off with a 20-gallon aquarium. There, They have a setup kit. And then after it's junior, we will have to move them up to like a 40 gallon aquarium. We're going to wait until we move to do that. Um, cause we have to, you know, we have to move everything. So I told her we'll start off a slightly smaller 20 gallon. It'll be good. They have a startup kit at PetSmart and the babies are full grown. The lizards are full grown at one year. Um, they are a, uh, a juvenile from six to 12 months. And a baby up to six months. So they say you can keep them in a 20 gallon until they're a year old, actually. And then you should move them up. Yeah, I don't want to commit to the reptile, to be perfectly honest. Maybe I should get something smaller to start her with. All right, no interest in a cameo? It's actually a really lovely gold-filled cameo. I'll pass on it. Okay, um... She she loves every animal. She's starting to drive me crazy with her obsession with animals. All right. Um, I'm going to auction this one. I, I This is Weiss. A, a you know, flower. That's Those are glass. Really? I, I can't imagine. I have to take care of it half the time. We might have to have a talk. I don't know. Um. It's just that they can be dirty. I know. Okay, so this is this is auction. This is why so I'm gonna start this at this. If somebody gets it at that, I think that's a good buy. But forty dollars. This is Weiss. It signs Weiss back here. If I can show it, you can't see that really. It says Weiss. Can you see it? Yeah, she seems to have a very an obsession with um, the animals. Those are blue rhinestones, obviously, as you can see. Down here, you have a black rhinestone, a blue rhinestone, like a sapphire one, and green rhinestone, and enameling on there. And this is about three inches. It's a vintage Weiss uh, flower brooch. This would, if anybody's interested, at 40 starting bid. If not, then they can just get it at that. If no interest, then I'll bring in another date or sell it somewhere else. I do, there is a little wearing right here. As you can see, just a very slight wearing on the green enamel. I love frogs. <laughs> Lizards are cute too, but I, I don't know about. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. If she doesn't take, uh, I don't know. She wants too many animals, my child. They're, I mean, that's supposed to be okay, but yeah, you've got to make sure you keep them warm and everything. I understand that. She's been studying them. Um, this is a, was a $40 starting bit. If you're the only one that wants it, you can have it at that. It's vintage Weiss. That is, it's all glass. Um, hi, Jeannie. This is glass. It looks like satin glass to me. Those are pronged glass. And um, gold tone. It's like twisted uh hair as you can see rhinestones down here as well hi genie if 
But she's she's got this thing about animals. I think maybe she should be a veterinarian when she grows up. She loves animals. Yeah, it's very nice. I mean, I think it's worth that, definitely. Um, oh, well, no, we, we'll keep it clean. That's the thing. You have to keep their cage clean. Um, make sure you keep the food in. Like I said, she's been studying it for a year. Nearly a year. How to take care of them. All right, I'm going to pass on this, I guess, on the uh, voice. I was surprised to find one, but when I went online, there are some on there. Some people have their prices at insanely high on them, but all right. We'll pass on the waist, too. Um, it's, uh, oh, okay, okay, Kathy. Yeah, the lizards, they, uh, I love, I like lizards, but they, they are a lot of work. Where are you? She already has a part, spot picked out for him with the door where the cats don't go. It's in a little TV room she uses. Thank you, Kathy. Um, you didn't want the flower? Okay. Okay, okay. That's okay. Um, I passed them. All right. Oh, I'll put that online. I can do that. That's all right. But anyway, she, um, she seems to want very many animals. It's driving me nuts, honestly. All right. I'm going to... Just move on here. Um, these are three little pearl bracelets. There's three of them. If anybody wants them, they are that eight box. They're stretch pearls. Freshwater, kind of brookie looking. You've got a pink, a silvery, and a white stretch bracelet. They're really cute. They don't get real big, right? They get to be like two feet. It's big enough, isn't it? You have to have like 60 gallon aquarium or something for them, which is a lot to move. That's why she needs to start out smaller if we get it beforehand. Okay. How old is your lizard, Becky? We had it for a while. I think you sent me a picture of it a while ago, didn't you? <laughs> all right, let me move on. Um, all right, I'm going to offer this. I've had this for a while. This, let me measure it. This is a uh, moonstone, and uh, I'm just going to measure it closed. It's 16, well, let me open it, actually. It didn't measure right. I think it's like 16 or 17 inches. All right, it's 18 inches, actually, when it's open. Um, it has an extender on it, so you can wear it at, like, 16. These are moonstone and amethyst and sterling silver. You see the rainbow? Um, not yet. I don't want to move to the spring. I don't want to move in the middle of summer, winter. You have um, rainbow moonstone, amethyst, and sterling silver heart. It's 18 inches. Uh, I'll be moving and I'm going to wait until the, uh, until the summer. This is, this is a nice necklace. Now, I am going to auction this, see if anybody's interested. Starting bid of 75 for this sterling Rainbow Moonstone and Amethyst. Amethyst there, 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 as you can see. And then you have in the back this chain. It has an extender on it that's two inches. So it can be worn 16 to 18 inches. It can be worn up shorter. It's pretty, it's a nice necklace. I don't know, I'm moving in the same area. Um, but I know it's hard to move in the winter. I'm still trying to save too. I, I want to, I want to be prepared. Um, before I move, let me show you the back of it. Yeah, there are. It's, um, I think it's, it's marked 925 here. 
No, it's marked SLG925 India, actually. Yeah, females are smaller, I was reading. And it has openings for the rhinestones and the moonstone. I didn't weigh it. This is kind of heavy. It's probably like um, 20 grams or something at least on this. And the moonstones are really lovely. And I'm not calling it vintage. I saw it online. Somebody did, um, there's one being sold online. Um, yeah, it's 16 grams of sterling. They're calling it vintage. It's It has that on it. I wouldn't call it vintage. But it's pretty. Anyways, and I think that's a good buy for it, actually. Okay, so that's not too bad. Two feet sounds huge to me. I mean, it's not, not big, big, but big enough that I don't really know if I want to take care of it. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to have to help realistically. She's here every other week, so I have to make sure I keep its cage clean and I feed it, you know. I don't know how often you clean them either. All right, no interest in a moonstone and amethyst and sterling. All right, I'll pass on that. Yeah, I wasn't on on Monday, so everything's not like $30 and under. I can't do that on some things. It's stuff costs me more than that to buy it. Um, okay, these are uh, pearl champagne colored Baroque looking pearls. I showed, I have the big one, I'm not selling it. I showed this one. I think you were here when I showed this one, right? That one I have. I was offering that for 24 It's nice. It's a very a pretty vintage a blue AB and black rhinestone brooch. It's two inches. And I do have some. Yeah, I can show you one of those. The big one I didn't bring today Um, because I'm trying to figure out who it is. I have this one. It's very lovely. It's domed. And it's layered. It's more than one. They almost look like they're screwed on here. You can look. You see, like. I mean, it, it does look screwed on. But anyways, this is a two-inch brooch. This is Claire. Um, one of them. Hi, Melanie. All right, so for this one, okay, let me let me offer this one since, I mean, this is a vintage, there's the back of it, you see how it's, it's layered, there are three different layers, like it's hooked in there, I don't know if you can see, not hooked, it's screwed, looks like it's screwed, I don't know, it's three layers, anyways, if anybody wants this one, um, I didn't even price a valid. I have no idea. But here, I $32. It's a beautiful brooch, actually. And it's vintage, domed. Three layers. One, two, three. It looks like it's screwed in there. You can see that under there. Hi, Barb. Hello. But yeah, that would be $32 if anybody wanted it. It's, it's a, like a two-inch domed brooch. Okay, Dana, thank you. Have I sold you, Dana? If I haven't, just email me here. Vintage Jewelry Glory at Yahoo.com. Um, thank you. It's nice. Um, the bigger one I'll offer soon. I'm trying to figure out who the humongous one is. Did, you probably, you may have already, um, Vintage Jewelry Glory. You may have already uh, pre registered with me. I can't remember, but if you haven't, there's email me there. <laughs> PayPal email address, YouTube name it, country in which you live. Thank you, Dana. It looks brand new. Seriously, there's like nothing wrong with this, which is amazing because it's. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Um, I have the whole bay with me. I was going to auction that. I have to start it out of the decent price because I'll show it. Yeah, not not too high. I I. Hobay's new to me, some of it. All right, let me show this. Thank you, thank you, and congrats. This is a, it's carved inward. I don't even know what you call that. It's not reverse carved. But it's it's glass. It's costume. You can wear it as a brooch or a pin. It's pretty. It's a little over two inches on this. If anybody wants this one, it's 15. Oh. 
I, I I know somebody that's over there shopping heavily. I'm not going to say their name out in public, but my God, did they cause me to have it? <sighs> but sorry, it's none of my business, right? Um, this is beautiful, actually, for 15 bucks. All right, Dina, thank you. I, Intaglio, do you still call it that, even though it's not reverse carved? Sienna, it's uh, me. Talk to me. Yeah, Gina, you probably know too, right? Um, I saw her over there going hog wild. I, I, okay, I'm looking at your name. I tried to be kind to everybody. I, I try to be a kind person. I'm human, but um, thank you, Dana. But yeah, you got some people. Who sometimes it's crazy. All right, thank you. Congratulations. I do have another cameo here. I, um, what else? I have the hobe. Hobie Hobie. Oh my god, look at the small night. Well, let's go through some of this stuff. I have tons of jewelry in here. Unic heights, anything like that. How about this? Little Spain butterfly. It's signed Spain. That's the back of it. It's signed Spain right here. At, you know, you know how to spell Spain. I don't have to spell it for you. I think it's pretty cute. If anybody likes the butterfly, it's not butterfly season necessarily, but that's 14 if anybody wants it. I think it's brass. I, I, yeah. But it's, um, what do they call this? Um, uh, what is this called, guys? Damn it, thank you. Yes, thank you, Kathy. That must seem correct. Nice, actually. Yes, Jennifer. I haven't drank since. I look at that, and I looked back at it in my head. I was painted white. My head looks huger than it normally does. Look, oh, my God, how ugly I was on there like that. It's all right. I had fun. All right. Anybody want a butterfly? Maybe I'll save us for the springtime one. I think I have one just like this. Spain. Domicine. It's signed up over there. This is vintage, actually. Oh, I, Barb, you know, well, never mind. Oh, my God, I was having a nervous breakdown when I, the person that did that to me. I had to, I got harassed, verbally harassed by her. Like, it was pretty rough because I had to be right out and straightforward with her, you know. <laughs> it was wicked. Okay. But yeah, okay. Thank you. Toledo wear, we'll pass on it. It's actually nice. I like it. I, I like Spanish jewelry. I have a ship. I did have a little palette, artist palette. I gifted that to somebody. It's an artist that sent me something. Um. Well, how about the Brighton? This is a Brighton verse for sale, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Look. It says knowledge is power. Yeah, it is horrible. Like uh, I had like a third of my inventory held up at two points. Um, yeah, pretty wicked. And, you know, it's if you're living off of that, it's awful. It was almost nervous. But Gina heard it. So did Dawn. Dawn <laughs> heard it, too, um, <laughs> when it was happening. Okay, this is Brighton. It's nice. It's in good shape. And it's called, I looked it up. It's called the Versailles. If I'm pronoun you know what I mean, like the special. I, I My pronunciations are awful, so you guys know that that know me, that I think that's how I pronounce it. <laughs> yeah, you should be. It's it's just not fair to make people. And some, you know, you type up an invoice and all of that, and you think you're making. And then, oh my god. <sighs> yeah, that's what they need to do. All right. So this is nice. This is a Brighton necklace. Let me give you a length. It has a long extender on it. A bit. I'm gonna measure it. Like it's sixteen, like. Up to 24 inches, something like that. Let's, I don't have to measure it exactly, do I? Unless you, don't let me, let me quit being lazy. Get talking about on the door. All right, so it's, um, Oh, wow, it goes up to 21 inches. It could be more than 16 to 21 inches on this necklace. And this is a Brighton. Those are crystals in there. It has the a heart clasp in the heart. Um, 
piece in the back. I'm taking a long. She called me. No, I tell. I, I told you. I don't want to talk about her. Poor thing. I feel bad for her. She thinks she needs help. Okay, so that's a heart with a B on it. That's that piece. <laughs> this is for sales. It looks. This is bright and it looks brand new. If anybody wants it, it is that price. It's. I think it's worth that. Well, it's worth more than that. I know it. I saw one online that sold for more than that, but that's all I saw was one. It's in good shape. A little bee and a little heart. Knowledge is power, which it is. It's knowledge of people that <laughs> that'll rip you off is power. Um, I'm joking. All right, let me hang it up. That is the Brayton. If anybody wants it for thirty-two. All right, I'll leave that hang there while I look. What's my look? I have another cameo. I have some Austrian earrings. These are pretty fabulous. I have really long pearls, the Kramer of New York, which I really don't know what it's worth. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> All right. Nobody wants to break and I'll pass on it. Okay. I have to just like, you know, it gets to be like the, um, feel bad for people like that because it's like there's it gets to be like an addiction i think just like uh like drugs um gambling you know anything like that where they have no self-control um yeah it's important to keep your word though i think really these are made in austria they're signed made in austria back there they're clips they're beautiful they're fully pronged those are a gray, and then there's black. And there's the back. Let me show it to you. That's not really good. I'm sorry, it's not a very good view, but you get the idea. Don't tell them that's what Carrie Quiver. Um, yeah, you can't force people to want to know things that you know or whatever um this is nice so you see you have every other one is the clearish like silverish looking one these are made in austria like i said let me put a price in them it's been a long time showing that we're not showing much <laughs> hi hi hydrogen hello these i will do i will sell not do for 24 very 22 i mean very pretty austria signed austria it says made in austria i may I don't know if my magnifying glass doesn't do much. I feel like it doesn't do anything. But they're very pretty. Earrings. They're about an inch. Like you'd hang them, hold, wear these like this. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. I told everybody I knew about that lady. I, I told everybody that I knew that I could about her. You know, and uh, I mean, not uh, some people give people chances even after they know they did that to other people, thinking it won't affect them. But then it then it ends up doing so. I was contacted. Um, I, you know, I blocked her. Uh, yeah, I I wrote up a policy. I have a policy hanging up on how I expected to be paid after her. That's how bad she made me feel. She like it was awful. I was one of the first people she'd done it to. <laughs> And it was rough. She took a third of my inventory or more, and I struggled financially because of it. She harassed me verbally, like swore at me. I still pity her because um, she's a, it's sad to me. I, I, I do pity people. I can't help it. It's in my nature to feel sorry for people. But we'll pass on these because she's sick mentally, I believe. That's not normal, you know, to do that to people over and over again. But I was probably the first, I was the first person that blocked her on there, actually. And I warned people that I could. Not everybody listened, you know. <laughs> Some people feared they'd give it their own chance and see if she did it to them, you know. And then she does. She did it to everybody. It's been on her that I know of so far. But they, yeah, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sell to her like that and allow it to happen or anything like that. To me, I call me crying hysterically and swearing at me, call me filthy names. 
awful, actually. And you can't use your past as an excuse for your present behavior, in my opinion. I don't care how rough things are or what happened to you. Because you know reason to treat other people like crap. If that was the case, I'd be in a bath in the corner and playing in my own crit shit. To be honest. Um, 18 inches if I let my past get to me and not allow me to live. This is 18 inch pearls. But anyways, I do feel sorry for them. I can't help it. It's just me. It's a sickness. <laughs> in a way of pitying people. I, I do it. These are pearls. <sighs> kind of brokey. Strung in. I don't know if that's sterling or not. I didn't test it. But yeah, everybody should be warned. Anybody that knows should warn whoever they can that they know that sells on her about the person. I think, too. You're right, Kathy. They should know. All right. That's a pair of champagne-ish colored pearls. Pretty nice, I think. No, I don't drink. <laughs> I don't drink a lot. I would never. I don't drink, especially when I have to go pick my daughter up. No, it's terrible, actually, to do that. I, I didn't see the action of what was going on. I popped in for a minute and kind of saw it. I was like, oh, my God. Hopefully she pays them. But anyways, this. If anybody wants these pearls, this is what I will sell them for. Um, I, I don't know what price to put on. 14 Yeah, some people come on with different names, too. They'll, they'll come on with different names. And try doing the same thing. I haven't had a whole lot of experience with it, honestly. Her, I did. I, I got full throttle with that. I mean, I got full all of it with her. I even almost got stuck with a UPS bill. I had to talk about with them um, for the charges. Anyways, I don't want to talk about that anymore. Um, I'm trying. I'm having a sale. I don't doing that to her publicly. I, I won't do that to anybody publicly. Anyways, um, sorry. No. Well, it's not ripping off unless you get to jewelry, but it's still wrong to harass people and cause problems. Um, but anyways, I'll pass. I don't want to talk. I won't give her name publicly. I won't do that to another person, even somebody as such. All right. I'm done with that. I don't want to talk about her anymore. Trust me, I believe it or not. Okay. Um, how about the Hobe? Who's, who's, is anybody interested in the Hobe? Should I, should I take time to show this? This is beautiful. Vintage Hobe, signed Hobe. In the back. Yeah, we should have some kind of place where we can make, um, put people's names down. Maybe. But anyways, um... Did she actually steal off of somebody or did she just do harassment with ordering things? I didn't know she actually, if somebody's sending jewelry without getting her money, that's really silly. Um, I would never do that. I, I don't do any friending type of thing. Hopefully that wasn't done. Anyways, um, if you want to know, email me. If you sell, I'll tell you if you sell on here. How, how's that? I will tell you. Through. I just don't want to do that with her. Okay, so this is um, Hobe. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an auction, and I think it's a good price for it because I've done price checks, and this is what I would start it at, okay? It's $5 increments when it's over $50. I'd start at $75. It's very beautiful. It's, um, I believe this is fire polished check, check glass. You have the clear rondelles, rhinestone rondelles, and then you have these discs um, in here that are molded glass. They're, they're flowers. Can I show this? I do have a little, yeah, I'll get to that. And yeah, I do, Jennifer. All right, you have that. So this, um, it's marked Hobe on both end pieces. Here, H, H O B E on both. And this is multi. Is that iris glass, guys? I don't know. It's check glass, I know that. I do have a little sterling and stuff that I'll pull out. Let me measure it, and then I'll hang it up and see if anybody's interested at the starting bid. Um, this is, hold on, I don't want to hold it by that. I don't want to break that. Um, this, it's 17. So it could be more 15 to 17 inches. 
I don't think I have any Laramore today. I do have some laying around. I have a ring that's Laramore that I don't think I ever sold. All right, here's the Hobe. It's beautiful. Starting bit of 75. It's th triple strand. Like I said, it has the molded um, these little glass flowers on here. They're check glass as well. And then the clear rond rondelles. Thank you, Barb. <coughs> I believe it's worth more than that. But if you get it at that, that would be great for you. Um, it's really very, this is a nice, nice necklace. I saw one on Chapel Hill, ladies. She showed one, but hers, it wasn't as nice as this one, actually. See the little flowers and all that beautiful glass, triple strand, beautiful. And it's in good shape. It's not on me. No, not today. I'm sorry. But, all right. So fit 75, this is a, I was trying to auction if anybody else is interested, $5 increments. If not, I'll, I'll call it down in a minute to sell it to Barb. It's very beautiful, though. I got this in a lot. This is um, why I, I got it. Um, is Look how beautiful that is. The lot is I, I saw this necklace. I didn't know it was Hobe until I got it. I just thought it was a marvelous necklace. Um, that's why I got it. But at 75, it's good, it's good for you, and it's good for me as well, honestly, with the amount that I paid. <laughs> for the lot so i'd still be doing okay in money and i'm not all you know about like oh i have to get the most dollar for everything i'm not like that um but it's very nice all right i don't see any other interest i'm gonna do it so i'm gonna call it down the board it's a marvelous necklace mesmerizing actually no okay i'm gonna call it down five four three two and sold to barb o'donnell for 75 bucks for the uh lovely um who vintage hobe check glass necklace it has a lot going on for this triple strand necklace okay thank you barb i'll take it offline now <laughs> i had it online i just put it online this morning thank you it's really marvelous actually i'm not a, 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 a big big collector of things at this point someday i may cry that i gave that away we'll see well not gave it away but sold it because it's pretty marvelous um okay what was somebody asked me gold silver and native american i did show this locket that i i would i mean i don't know it's it's 12 karat gold film she's a beautiful shell cameo for 75 but it's not gold um it's not gold it's gold 12 karat gold film she's pretty lovely though she was 75 dollars really lovely shell cameo vintage i don't know how old the all right um i do have one um i cleaned it up a little bit <laughs> this is sterling and it's not that's not liquid silver but those are li like silver pieces it's not thin enough to be liquid silver it's a very very nice piece of um turquoise there and it has it's vintage i believe as a uh a barrel class it's nice. You can see the host rock in it. Anyways, let me measure it and then I'll, this is going to be a buy it and I'll put a price in and see if anybody wants it to that. Yeah, the Hobe was, I, I thought it was lovely. 11 inch drop. The chain's eight, I don't know. Let me measure it. I'm sorry. I'm getting lazy here. Not lazy. I made, I measured the entire thing instead of just the chain. The chain itself is 18 inches. Okay. So it's on green. You can still see it. I did clean it a little bit. It was black back there. He's baking soda. I could use a better cleaning, but it's sterling silver and beautiful turquoise. This is about two inches, an inch and a half or two inches. If anybody wants it, this um, turquoise is very nice on this. I'll, I'll sell this for $28 if anybody's interested in that. This is all silver linked pieces. A barrel clasp and a really nice pair of um piece not pair that's nice um it does not have filler in it this is turquoise that's 28 if anybody wants it that's one thing i have here i don't have a lot i do have some native american necklaces but i don't remember what i did with them they're vintage, um, Heshi, 
And actually, they're hanging across the way. They're heshy and tur nice turquoise chunks on, on field as well. They, they fill a lot of the modern turquoise. And when they do the polishing and so forth, they're putting filler in it. But this one, no interest. That's 28. I think that's all I have for that. I do have some sterling, I think. Um, I did prepare a little bit. All right, we'll pass on that. I don't think anybody's interested in that. Um, I don't have a whole lot of sterling, actually. I have a really long pair of pearls here. Let me measure them and I'll show them to you. They're freshwater pearls. I don't have any camphor glass. I found them. <laughs> I seriously, I don't. I've been looking because you've asked for that before, I believe. I've been looking around for it. It's not something that it's not easy to find, I don't think. This is 100 inches. Imagine that. Look at it. It's 100 inches. It measures 25 and I times it by four because I had it um, doubled up. No Melifury. I do have this little thing. It's a little Melifury glass heart. It was 18. It has a little nasty glue back here. But that's glass. It's not like the beads. This is a glass heart. It's like two inches. That was 18. Um, I probably do have Melifury laying somewhere. But yeah, Thelma probably is on lunch break right now. How are you doing, Thelma? All right, these pearls, okay, they're really long, 96, 100 inches. I think it was 100, I said, right? Here they are. It's a strand. They are freshwater pearls. They're strung and knotted in between. Sorry. All right, if anybody wants these long ones, um, no, that's too much, at least for me. It is um, $32 for these fresh, very long freshwater pearls. These will probably get four times at least on your neck. I thought it, it does not have a clasp strung, knotted in between. It's a pretty marvelous set. All right, Thelma, thank you. Just put long pearls. These are the longest I've ever found. I don't remember where I got to make, guys. I'm starting to get crazy. I have these. When did I get this? Wasn't a stone lot. I know that. I didn't get anything like that in that stone lot, unfortunately. I mean, I got my stuff in the stone lot. I got some fake. Talk about that. Congrats. Thanks, Tom. Look, talk about that. This is fake curl, coral. I'm more than sure of that. And it's glowing, okay? But it's cool. It's kind of cool. You want the heart perch for you, Okay, Sharon, I'll put I'll add that to your bag. Thank you. It's it's cute. Oh, you've been hunting for this. Good. I'm glad I found something you like. Yeah, they're um they're super long. That's the longest I've ever found so far. Um, well, I don't know if they make them longer than that. Who knows? Maybe they do. They don't have a clasp on it, but you you still can triple, if not um, double, if not triple. Sharon had something here. Yeah. I think you had um, clear quartz. Yeah. All right. Thank you. It's a nice heart. I think that's a good price. Like good price shopping. Okay, Jamie. Yeah, you may have that. That was the starting bid for the Weiss, but I, I will let you, you can have it for that. It's pretty marvelous. Okay. Thank you, Janie. I've sold to you, right? I think I've sold your rocks before, actually, because I remember making a joke about it. Um, I'm pretty sure I sold you. If not, email me. It's been a little while, I think. But yeah, it's a nice brooch. Thank you. All right. The cameo I liked. I, I may have been a little high on that. I don't know. I'm going to keep that anyway. So, okay. Look. Um, okay, thank you. Look. This is fake. This is 10 bucks if anybody wants it. It's it's dyed fake coral kind of looks real in a way you know what i mean if you were looking at this and i couldn't tell it was dyed i might think it's real but because they put all those things in but how light and if anybody wants this um it's eight bucks <laughs> let me show it to you kind of cool it's not coral though it's not real it has a toggle clasp that's kind of scary they can make it look that real so sometimes you know it makes you wonder like unless it's real and it's dyed i don't know i'm not an expert on that coral i've never seen it 
like been under the ocean playing with it. Yeah, it's no, it's it's um, it's glass type. It's it's uh, it's not real. This hair looks like wood. That's definitely none of it's coral. That's what I'm saying. It's a fake necklace. But if anybody likes it, it's eight bucks. It's kind of cool. I, it's not no big deal. We'll pass on that. Um. It's not wood though. It's actually it's hard. And it's harder than what you would imagine coral to be as well. It's a thing. We'll pass on it. That came in my stone lot. It wasn't one of my favorite things out of that. Um I do have a Kramer of New York. And this is look at this guys. This is pretty. Yeah, it kind of looks like rich tree girl, and you may be right on that. <laughs> and now I gotta re, I gotta test the coral hanging over there and see if it's uh, died or not because I have. No, I think that's real actually. I didn't try sewing it yet because I wasn't sure. Hi, Dawn. Look how pretty. Five strand AB. This is beautiful. It's. Look at it. Isn't that marvelous? It's unmarked, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Um, five strands. It's got some flexibility to it. It has rhinestones set in there. That's, it has a, an extender on it. It's a Jayhawk. It's unmarked. Let me measure it for y'all. I liked the Grinch movie. I thought it was kind of funny. The one of Jim Carrey in it. Eh, this is short. This is a, it's a little over 16 inches, but it can be worn 14 to 16 inches. This is meant to be a choker, you know, on your neck. Um, it's not real, real heavy. It is glass, but, and there's multiple sizes. Um, let me, it looks better hung up wider. Let's see if I can. I don't know if people wear that or not. But this is a pretty one. Some people wear it sometimes. There you go. Four strand. Let me put, I, am I going to, I'll do a, a buy it now on it of this. 32. Five strand. Um, a, B. Sorry. I don't know if people wear it or not. I, I don't really wear it because I don't go anywhere. Maybe if I left my home, I would. I don't care anywhere unless there's a child attached to me. You know how that is. Okay, Dana, thank you. <laughs> and I'm not complaining. I love my babies. My Davy. Davy's a year old now, guys. Thank you, Dana. He's adorable. He's super funny. And he really eats. Yeah, I need to. Yeah. I, should, I, I don't know. Me out and... I'm just getting so used to being home. But yeah, maybe I should go out. <laughs> a little bit. I need water, I think. What time is it? I saw one. It wasn't even that nice. Somebody sold it for $50 online not long ago. Um, I do wear some jewelry to the estate sales and so forth. I'm, I'm a little rough with things. I'm afraid to... I, I lost a pearl out of a ring. I am rough. I'm like very, very slow here. Sorry. Uh, okay. I don't know. How How about these? Yeah, thank you, Dana. Congrats. These are like, I don't know if these are both Unikite. This is Unikite. I know that. I'm in calm. I haven't had any issues. It's at one store. They made changes. I'm glad. That's kind of stressful. Um, but <laughs> through my stories, my announcements, I said, <laughs> I haven't gotten robbed in the building either because I have a P.O. box. <laughs> no, I'm getting my packages. Okay. These are Unikite. I, I don't know. Is that Unikite too? They're just, they're strand necklaces. These are simple. They're a choice if anybody wants these. Um, they are both of them. If anybody wants them here uh they're eight dollars if anybody's interested um i don't know the fine that's gold tone lobster claw and they're like 16 inches it's just somebody tossed some stones on here 
This one's Unikite. I don't know what that is. Is that a Jasper or something? They're simple. Hey, if I don't sell them here, I'll put them in a lot. I'm going to put stone lots together. Hi, 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 Peaches. Oh, I have a really pretty ring in here, too. All right, I'm going to pass on these. Um, let me see what I do. I have a nice little Germany pin top. How about this? I did say I'd offer this at a good price because it is a little bit of an issue. Well, it's missing a safety chain. This is beautiful, though. It's uh, missing a safety chain. Okay, this is vintage. So you have multiple shapes there of the stones. There's the back. And this piece, the, like the clip piece that you push down on is not there, but it still works. Look, it locks. And all you do is push down on it and it'll open. Let me measure it and see if anybody wants it. I'm going to offer really good price so you can still wear it and it's still lovely but it, that is an issue it's seven inches if anybody wants this then that's the price it's ten dollars like i said you can still wear it no i'm not auctioning this it's ten bucks so no, not that i only wanted to i wanted to auction the hobe it sold for 75 which i'm okay with that i think it was worth more congrats uh barb barb's pray at work that's really beautiful um necklace i think it's probably worth like 125 at least but that's fine um that's what these sales on here are about thank you son it's getting things cheaper than what we can online or what's the point in coming right um <laughs> Unless it's something rare that you can't find anything, that's another thing. But thank you and congrats. It's very pretty. And like I said, the safety chain's off of it, but you can take that extra piece off. It's still um, working. Um, the Hobe, I, I mean, not the Hobe, the Kramer of New York, I wait on that. Look how cute, guys. This is signed Germany. Made in Germany. Let me see what it says. Yeah, I sold it. I, I sold that for a really good price. I believe it was a good price. It was beautiful, actually. Sarah. Um, this is made in Germany. Look how adorable. It's signed made in Germany back here. These are rhinestones. Beautiful blue rhinestones. It's tiny. It's like a three-quarter of an inch little pin. Anyways, if anybody wants this little thing, it's $8. It's very nice. It's a vintage little beautiful blue color made in Germany. Rhinestone pin. I like the little scatter pins like that. I do have the Kramers really lovely as well. Okay, I see Sung Lee first. Sung. All right, let me put that in your bag. There you are in the front. This is the Hobe. This is not Hobe, guys. Excuse me. The Hobe is on my mind, okay? Um, the, it really is on my mind. This is Kramer of New York. This is beautiful. I've got the blue-white glass. I don't know if that's... I don't think it's glazing. I think that's the way the glass is made. You have A.B. rhinestones. It's signed back here. Kramer of New York right there. I'm sorry. I sold that already. But anyways, let me put... I'm going to put... I, I'm going to be quite honest. My experience is limited on this, guys. Okay, so, but this is what I'm comfortable with. So if I sell it for this, I'm okay, but I think it's worth more. I'm going to start this at $50. Yeah, Barb's a, a strong collector. Um, she'll, she'll appreciate that. Um, this is signed Kramer in New York. And it's starting bit of 50. It's very beautiful. It's blue AB rhinestones. This is a choker. You have the dangles, kind of like a cha-cha necklace. Sure, Beck. Yeah, I can do that. Um, she'll wonder why I never build her, though. <laughs> Should I tell her? Look, this is the Jayhawk has a blue AB rhinestone on the end. There's a, let me measure it. I'll hang it up and show it to you guys. Oh, my. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Dawn. Goodbye. Good luck with that. I am, I, when I got my car inspected, it cost me, um, I paid $1,300. I was so disgusted. This is 12 to 16 inches. Okay, I, I can do that. Um, 
Oh, uh, Bill for for Thoma. All right, it's only six dollars shipping. That's I mean that's what I charge for that. Yeah, that sucks. As long as it's working well, that's all that matters. Okay, Kramer of New York. No interest in this little thing? I was, okay, there it is. I'm sorry. It took me a long time. You're welcome. Yeah, I needed tires and uh, a new um, rotor in the back. It was I was disgusted at that point. But but it's it's safe now and it's driving well. 12 to 16 inches. This is like a choker. Yeah, it's it's short. It's a it's 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 a choker. You can it's light enough too. It would look really lovely on somebody's neck. Again, this is hard for me. It was still up in the air about how much it's worth. I have no idea. I know Kramer a little bit. I know this big fabulous piece is worth like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. This is not one of them, and I know that, but it's still a nice one. That's mixed. That's blue and white glass, and then you have the little A B balls and the rhinestones. All right, but we'll pass on it. Um. Yeah, that sucks. I'm I'm just glad mine should be taken care of for a while. Okay, do I did I bring any sterling? Oh, look at this set. This is this was actually gifted to me. This is a Sylvan Spirit Trillium pendant on chain with um it's red clay painted. This is red clay painted. That's a freshwater pearl, a sterling chain. It has a signature back here too. Somebody helped me. Deb and G, I think it was, figure out who this was. It's signed back there. Sylvan Spirit, S-Y-L-V-A-N. This is a set. I'm going to sew it as a set. That's a sterling chain. It's a nice one, like a little. <laughs> I need um, I need a new wiper blade in the back of my car. It's like falling apart and I don't even know how. Well, I haven't replaced it. And I bought the car used. It's not a new car. Um, so that's probably what's going on with that wiper blade back there. <laughs> it needs replaced though, and they're expensive. Things are expensive on my car. This is 16 inches. It's red clay, it's painted. And again, there's the signature. And there's a pair of earrings that are sterling silver and freshwater pearl. This is a cute, let me hang it up on this thing because I'm gonna stab them in there. The wires are sterling and I've destroyed this one. It's been sacrificed. All right, the earrings and the necklace. I'm gonna offer it at less than half the price on the website of what they're charging. It's pretty. Sterling freshwater pearls and red clay that is painted. All right, here it is. If anybody wants this set, I will sell this for for 40. It's a nice little pearl. And Sylvan Spirit, I'd never heard of it before. Somebody emailed me about it when I offered it like months ago. Told me who it was. I think it was Deb and G, I think. Crafts, I think is what her channel's called. But it's dainty. There's some dust on her. And I've stabbed this up pretty bad. Okay. I have a lot of jewelry here, so I'll probably, I'm not going to wait. I'm sorry, let me, can you see that kind of, I'll be right back. I'm going to get a cup of water, okay, I drink all my water, I'll be right back. Slept right about. Okay, I'm going to pass on that. <sighs> Kitchen happens to be right next door to me, which is a good thing. I hate the cold. I wish I was in a hotter 
play, play. Well, I, I would love to look why well, I, I say that, but who knows if I would like it when, if I moved to Florida. I'm going to leave my kids, but I think it would be nice to get out of this. Oh, here I do. Oh, this is really cute. Huh, this is pretty. That's a ruby. This is 10 karat gold. That's a ruby. You have a diamond, diamond chips on the side. It's 10 karat white gold. On the side, each side of the ruby is um, our little diamonds. They're small. I guess we're calling chips. Look, they're very small. But that's a ruby and it's 10 karat gold. It's marked on the inside. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it. I think I showed it in my video. The 10K white gold and a ruby. And I think it's cushion cut. It's not real heavy. It's not a real heavy ring. I think it's like two grams and it has a stone in it. But it's, you see the little diamonds and ruby. And let me give you a size. It's like seven and three quarters, I think. This is going to be just so if anybody wants it. It's a seven and three quarters. Anyways, if anybody wants this, this is the price for it. $75. It's a seven and three quarters and a beautiful ruby. That there close, you know, and little diamond chips on the side. tight on my fat little finger. It's pretty though. It's Mark Tom. It's Mark 10K. And it has the maker, the company. It's a jewelry company. They do fine gold and silver jewelry and gemstones. EMA is what it is marked in there. Sorry. And like I said, it is 10 karat. Let me show you the details. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the camera. Um It's opened in the back and like it's marked over on the side 10k and EMA and I tested it it is white gold um 10 karat white gold I mean it's 10 karat there is no test to see if it's white gold you see that by looking at it but it's pretty nice it's a nice ruby it's decent size that would be 75 anybody's interested where's my box at I don't know how old it is, honestly. It's, there we go. But it's pretty. Did you see that, but Thelma? So now you know. <laughs> I was like, Thelma's going to wonder why I haven't. Um, um, no. I don't have much platinum, honestly. I do have one ring and a necklace, but they're not even in front of me. And... I mean, I, I wouldn't even know what to sell them at. I think 75 is good for this. So if anybody sees it and you're interested, I'll, I'll still let that go with that. It's a nice ring. It's a nice ruby. You when viewing it, you can see the, um, it's, it's nice. I don't know if it's lab created or not, though. I have no idea. But no, no 18K. I have one necklace that is put away that's like chevron glass. It's the only one I have that's 18K, and I have a couple platinums. All right, but we'll pass on the 10 karat. Uh, diamond and ru um, ru gold. It's 10 karat gold, ruby, and two tiny diamond chips on the sides. You see, it's they're not big. Can you even see them? Probably not because it was hard for me. But I did test it. They're very, very small. But that's why it's 75 bucks, which I think is a good price. Okay, we'll pass on that. Um, The ruby's nice, though. Yeah, it's pretty. It's very, it's nice. It fits on my finger. It's a little big on there, but it fits well enough that I like dainty rings. Like, that's beautiful, that ring. I could wear that on there. I like it on my thumb. This is sterling silver and marcasites. And let me show it to you. All right, I'm glad that you saw that thumb because I was like worried. To show. Well, she wanted to surprise you, I think, actually. But there we go. It's all right that you know. <laughs> all right, this is measuring... This bracelet is seven inches. It's cute to look at it. It's sterling silver and marcasites. You see here? It's pretty. Marcasites and sterling. Little dainty bracelet. It's very pretty, I think. All right, this is what I want for this. If anybody's interested, $26 for this one. I have one of butterflies too. It is a um, 
spring ring clasp and it's like I said seven inches there's the back and there's the front there's marcus sites all over it length is seven inches it's seven inches son a little over seven inches I think actually let me remeasure it just to make sure I'm correct um, we'll start the spring ring it's it's pretty it's a nice little bracelet I think but you know it's springy again maybe it should be in the spring it's like seven and a quarter actually but we'll say seven seven and a quarter I have one of butterflies on it too I still have not gotten my bath like I'm trying to put trays together for different seasons it has not happened okay so it's pretty though I also have this one um All right, you want that? Let me make sure I'm correct on that size only. So I don't want to send you something that wouldn't work. Let me show you. Okay, look. Like, just so you can confirm it. You st I start there. I'm like, let me show you. Start up there where it starts to zero. The zero and go down. See? It's down to almost into the mid-range. You see that? Oh, hold on. I feel like I feel like I need a roller. Where's my roller at? I have one of butterflies on it, too. This is really, it's a cute bracelet. I think it was like seven grams or something, too. All right, Thumb, I'll see you later. Thank you for coming. All right, yeah, seven and a quarter. Okay, you said it works. <laughs> I just wanted to show you. I have the little this little one, too. Let me write your name on it. Thank you. That's the flower in Sterling. Marcus Lee. Bracelet. Thank you all. Look how cute this is. Yeah, you can add links to this one easy. Look at the little butterfly. The butterfly's a little bit less, but let me show it to you. Nothing. What'd you say? Yes, yes, you could easily on that. I have, oh, I have a beautiful Monet necklace. Barb, you still there? No, I'm joking. Barb's working, I think. Seven and a quarter on this one as well. Look how cute. Same type of thing, sterling silver and marcasites and little tiny butterflies. It's really cute. Like they kind of go together. Not that I'm trying to tell you, hey, why don't you buy this too? But look, they kind of do. That's yours. That's Sung's. But I have the little butterfly and marcasites as well. Seven and a quarter. This one is a little bit less because I feel like it. 24. <laughs> I have a really lovely Monet necklace. I don't know the dating exactly on it. You may when you look at it though. Um, I know you've been working with you work with jewelry. You see it so on a regular basis um but it's lovely okay that one's 24 let me put sun Lee's bracelet on you want that one too did you say you wanted it yeah okay they go good together so the butterfly is um 24 thank you they're very pretty i picked those up the other day i found them both uh at the same location i didn't do a haul video on that all right i'm sorry sorry hit your room i do have other things but the um i really like the ring i'm gonna wear this I do. I thought it was 14 carat. I was really, really happy. Not to say that 10 carats on okay, but when I, um, they look good together. I think I, oh, I thought this was 14 K. I was really ecstatic, but 10 carats. Okay, so. oh, oh, look at this. Look at this Napier guys. This is exciting to me. No, seriously. Look, this is a Napier, not sure of the year or anything on it, but I think it's more modern. There's the hang tag. I think it's 1990s or after with that. So this is pretty nice. So this is, and I didn't look in the book, so I don't even know if it's in there. But that's a Napier necklace. I just found it. Oh, so you work in fine jewelry, so you're not seeing Monet anyways, but and Pandora. Okay. Oh, I don't even remember it growing up. I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to jewelry. I admit that on a regular basis. Maybe I shouldn't. But when I was young, I didn't get much. Especially as a child who couldn't afford food. <laughs> I'm joking. Let's make it pitiful, okay? <laughs> so I'm joking. No, seriously, I didn't have things like that growing up. Um, 16 to 18 inches. Uh, but, you know, I wish I would have, is what I'm saying. It would have been nice to, um, to look at that stuff and remember it more than what I do. Because I am 54. I'm not a youngster here. Okay, this can be worth 16 to 18 inches. This is a Napier. Pretty nice, I think. Look. It's like, it's delay like that. Do I have it like twisting up? Hold on a minute. 
it has a that type of class and there's the hang piece on it all right if anybody wants to need beer this is what i will charge for it um so what's this for no i'm joking um i did price it somewhat the necklace this necklace if anybody wants a necklace it's 28 it's nice it's a nice napier it's pretty sturdy here yeah that is a big career change i'm sorry why am i holding it like that it's nice i couldn't find anything quite like this one i did find one kind of similar I don't believe it's even sterling plated. It kind of has to look, but I, I mean, a lot of some of their jewelry was, but I, I don't know about that. Oh, I haven't. This is all mixed up. I didn't do any pre-pricing. I'm just grabbing this out of my own. Just out of the air. <laughs> so you know your stones. Okay, I'll pa I think I should pass on that right now. I had that up long enough. I've done a number of things. I wasted money on the college education. I know that. Hi, Alina. Um, <laughs> I don't use it. This is um, that's that's not that's not glass. It is in a plastic acrylic. It's one of those bracelets. This is costume, obviously. It's cute. If anybody wants it, it looks like the higher ends. This is twelve dollars for anybody wants it, like, but it's not glass. It's, it has some gold tone over it here, um, and so it's silver tone, and it's average size here. I six. My wrist is six, and um, I, this would fit somebody up to eight inches. I'm like six and a quarter, six and an eighth. I can't really remember. A little over six inches, but there's that. It's a little. Looks like glass, and it is not. Oh, no, it's definitely not. I just retested it. But anyways, that would be twelve bucks if anybody's interested. I've been calm. I haven't been harassed lately. I I guess I can be fun though. Sometimes I'm boring. I think though, honestly, I get humdrum. <laughs> But thank you for that. You think I'd be fun? I could use some company. All right, we'll pass on it. I was trying to I'd offer a variety of different types of things. I think this is sodalite. Um, that's sodalite. It's it's a stretch bracelet, and there's a little heart. I should. I'll take you guys shopping someday, but don't. I'm not going to be overly fun or anything like screaming or yelling at people or anything like that. Try not to do that. That's only when I get pushed to it. You know what I mean? I will defend myself when I have to with no problem. <laughs> I won't be knocked around or anything like that. I mean, some people would be like, shocked. oh my God, this lady just knocked me over like 300 pounds. No, that was awful, guys. The whole experience with that lady. I haven't seen her. That's 10 Soda Light stretch bracelet has um, clear rhinestone, rhinestone rondels right there. And Yeah, I'd love to come to Florida to shop. I was telling my daughter I'd love to live there, but I couldn't leave ever. I have Maury, my, my daughter Maury, I don't know where she's at half the time. I have Crystal and the baby. And Jason, Eva's dad would kill me if I picked up and left. He he would be he'd be upset. I couldn't do it if I have partial custody. That's so sort of like stretch bracelet for 10 if anybody's interested in that. It is Claire Rondell, Rhinestone Rondells. It is stretchy. I don't think it's any sterling on it, but I showed that long enough, right? I'll pass on it. It is a stretchy. I'm not boring. Good. I feel like I am sometimes. I try. Not to be here. Oh, look how cute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where is it? Oh, God's sake. That's copper and goldstone. And I, that's some, I think that's just glass there. Goldstone's glass too, right? Copper and goldstone necklace. <laughs> This is nice, I think. It's a toggle class. It's pretty. I think it's a combo that they put together looks nice. My poor this little thing that Sylvia made me. Oh, I'm so upset I could fix it. It's like popped out. 
All right, let me see. This is, it's a 19 inch necklace measured down. Like I'll say 18 inches with a toggle because I'm measuring end to end. And you have to account for some of the space. Um, this is strung on wire. Some of the space being the measurement being this. What do you guys want me to be for how for Christmas? Um, I'll be at Turkey for Thanksgiving. How's that? And I already have the gut. Um, <laughs> kid. For Christmas, I'll be an elf. I am short enough, Rolla. <laughs> I am gonna decorate. I'll be I will be face forward on Monday, probably, if you guys like so I can I will not oh my god, I did a I have a live sale that to one Thursday. You know how you scan over your video and you can see movement? I'm eating. Okay. You can see me chewing. I'm sure that looks funny. Um, okay, this is goldstone and copper in some kind of glass. It's not stone. Yeah, maybe I will be an elf. That's kind of cool. Get some pointy ears. I think it's a nice necklace. It's 15. That is copper findings on it. You have the copper. It's a nice uh, clasp. Uh, toggle and then copper pieces and gold stone. And this, I don't know what you call it, like buckeye glass or something. nice it comes out like that piece comes off okay gold stone and copper there's that i thought it was cute i'll have to get the outfit together i'll be able to help me pick it out i'm gonna embarrass the kids she hasn't sent any of her friends to my channel to imagine people being on the scene me as an elf oh, i have a nice cameo it's not um it's costume it's not gold or gold even gold uh filled oh look how cute okay hi Drew. thank you it's very nice actually it's nice I have this. Look, guys. Sterling, little tiny fella. That's a fox ring. I'll show that to you in a minute. That's your first thing, I think, today that you you got, right? Copper and, and goldstone. If copper and goldstone goes good together. Thank you. I have a copper and goldstone ring I bought off Thelma. She sells it on Facebook um, on Saturdays, I think. Yeah, at first Friday and then Saturdays. I know she's on on Saturdays okay yeah yeah me i stick up for my kid of getting in kids faces not hurting them but at the pool i did it there was a little girl that was teasing her friend and her and i was like hey little hey girl she's like hey me i was like yeah you see that girl <laughs> wasn't me to her i was like leave her alone the lifeguard thanked me they torture him and people there these kids these were like bad little kids man i don't threaten them but i yeah oh my god that kind of got stretched out all right the fox can change it's at a five right now. It can be made smaller. It's a tip ring or a pinky or a ring finger if you want it, but it's small. Yeah, I try. I mean, I wasn't mean or anything, but I don't want, I'm not going to let somebody like outwardly pick on my kid while I'm sitting there, you know, some brats or some bad kids out there. Okay. This is a fox. Sterling silver fox. It can be changed in size. It's at a five now. It can, it's been a four. You know, it could be your pinky. See his little eyes? They are just um, etched in, like, etched in. And that is a cubic zirconian or crystal. That's not stone. I tested it to make sure, but it's a tiny little fox ring. A sterling silver fox. I did say that, right, like 15 times probably. Um, all right. If anybody wants the sterling silver fox little ring, it's $18. It's adorable. It's, it makes a good tip ring. It just... If you do those things, or a pinky, there's his tail, and that's his head. You see his eyes. Am I showing this well? It's open in the back for the, um, it's Mark 925 there, and it is sterling. I, I did test it. I can tell I used my hands for years. Um. All right, I thought this little fox ring is pretty adorable. It is sterling. It's very dainty and light, though. It's a light, light ring. All right, I think we're gonna pass on it. I really liked it. Um, I wouldn't mind it. All right, what else do I have? I have a cameo. I have a pair of peacock pearls. These are nice. They're almost round. I think they're freshwater. Well, they are. They're not sea. So what's the other alternative? Cultured freshwater peacock pearls. 
um, get hungry again. I'm not, and well, I'm not camera up, so I could eat. I think it's a, this is 36 inches. It would be open, but closed. It's 35. So the wearable length, I would say, is 35 because you have that clasp there. But these are strung and knotted, and they're peacock pearls. They're nice. You could definitely double them up. That, I believe that's just gold plated or just gold tone. It, it is not gold. I checked it to make sure. Oh, I didn't scratch it, but I looked at it and I didn't see a marking. And it would have a marking if the clasp was gold, I would think, because it's more modern. But these are, um, I said 36 inches, right? Okay, they're peacock pearls. I did. I, I cannot remember the size that I said. I'm sorry. If anybody's interested in them, they are... This is the price, 26 bucks. They're actually pretty nice. They're almost around. Freshwater pearls. Has a pearl clasp. Okay. There, that's that. Oh. Yeah, that kid was a nasty kid, man. Mm -hmm. Some of those kids are just so... Some of the girls in my... Uh, thank you, Hydron. Congrats, thank you. Some of the girls in my daughter's class are like, um, wear makeup. She's 12. Okay. Wear makeup. I have boyfriends think they do anyways. Just pretty bizarre. Um, <laughs> some of them are just really mature. She's not well mature. I mean, I don't want her to be... I don't want to coddle her either. I, I don't need that, but... They, they've grown up fast. Thank you. Congratulations. What the, how about these guys? Well, should I sell these? There's one little red stone missing. Does anybody like these? Like the look of these, huh? Sorry, um, peaches. I, uh, hydrant came in first. Look, Christmas trees. Look how adorable. They have like those upside down, really fancy, like watermelon type stones. Or we are missing one little stone. These are absolutely adorable, I think, the set. These are two scatter pins, Christmas trees. Adorable, adorable. Does need a little stone. Can wear it without them. You know, they're pointed at the end. The rhinestones are reversed. You know how that is. Anyways, anyway, if anybody wants these, um, they're adorable. This is the price for the two of them. Fifteen. Two Christmas trees in a pot. They're about an inch, a little over an inch. They're pretty marvelous, actually. Look at the stones in them. All right, thank you, Natalie. Congrats. They're, they're really cute. I'm, there is one stone missing, like I said, but I, that's why I sold them that cheap. I think they're, they're pretty cool. I didn't see a maker's mark on them. They remind me of something that would be... Um, Never mind, I can't even think of the company right now. Just two trees. Yeah, Eva, I mean, um, I I don't put her in, uh, I don't, she hasn't lost more makeup or anything yet. I don't need her to look any long, any larger. What did Quiver say, me? I bet she said she. Sorry, sorry, Peaches, again. Um. Yeah, they are a reflection of their parents, I guess. Or the parents just don't tell them to try not to be nasty, you know what I mean? I don't know what it is. But there are some some nasty kids out there. Um, yeah, it's an easy fix. That's what I figured. These are This is 15 inches of a 4-inch extender on it. Look, they added this extender, right? This is... That's the... I don't know what that is, who that is. There's a little, like... There. And then this. Yeah, refresh and make sure you're in top chat. This is glass. And it's not sterling, but look how nice it is. Is that the right side? Let's see. Because there's two sides. You know, there it's always looks different. There we go. These are like off shaped rectangles. Yeah, make sure you're in live chat. I'm in top chat actually on here. 
but um let me move that i just messed it up by accident hopefully everything still came through right all right there we have that and i don't know who the maker is but that is an extender on here i don't know if that's original to the necklace or not you have that um type of clasp All right, this is glass, as you can see, necklace, not sterling. It's silver tone and it's glass. And I think it's pretty cool. If anybody wants this necklace, uh, that's $22. It's, um, it's a long extender on there. It's a short necklace. I think this is meant to be worn like collar length, but they have the extender on it so you can wear it longer. You know what I mean? Like something... And I don't recognize the crown. I think somebody told me who that was and I can't remember, but it's pretty. Yeah, there, I, I have a problem getting it all put in the same container. Um, I mean, into different categories. I'm having that problem. I, I work on it though, try to. I have an Eisenberg for a chair. It's some gold filled, a nice Monet bracelet. I have a lot of jewelry still, good God. Nobody wants this one pretty it's glass and i think that's the right side let's put the other side does it look the same probably all right i'm gonna pass on that i think it was long enough for that one okay yeah sorting a drawer and keeping it organized is an issue for me all right this is gold filled and rhinestones 1 20th of 12 carats I can't read it. I'm going blind. Oh, goodness, my eyes. I don't know what it says. Forget that one. I have no idea what I'm reading. Um, this one here is like DCE and gold filled. You know, 12 karat gold filled. It has one little uranium piece in it. If anybody wants this little heart, it's $12. It is gold filled. I don't know if this is like a mother's heart or something. That green is uranium. The rest are clear. There's a lot of clear on here. I don't think it's a mother's or grandmother's one. Who who knows? Maybe it could be. She had a lot of grandkids. Um, but it's it's a vintage. Um, I think it's DCE. I'm sorry. All right. I was auctioning it. You could, you weren't here at that time, I guess. Okay, so this is going to, I'll, I'll put that in with your cameos, Peaches. All right, I'll add it to it. I'll update your invoice. Okay, so the um, gold filled heart with one uranium heart brooch pin. It's a pin. All right, thank you. We'll find that in the back. I'll just update it instead of sending me another one. All right, I, I showed it a little Kramer of New York. I thought it was pretty fabulous. Again, I was not certain how to price it, though. I started at 50. I thought it was worth that. Um, I can't read this, guys. I wanted to sell these to you guys. All right, thank you, Tonya, and have a good thrifting day. I will be out all day Saturday, guys. I'm looking forward to it. All right, I can't read that. I don't like that. This is an Eisenberg. It's nice. Nice little Eisenberg. Find Eisenberg in the back right there. Gold tone and a bunch of rhinestones. Yeah, I, I can't wait to thrift on Saturday. I'm going to do it all day. It's been a while. I haven't been going out. I, you know, wait, is that a dark stone? I don't know. Here, here's the price. If anybody wants the Eisenberg, it's 15 It's not an ice, it's just Eisenberg. It's signed here, E-I-S-E-N-B-E-R-G. I think you spell Eisenberg right, signed right there. And this is a, about a, an inch and a half, maybe a two inch pin brooch. It has a blue, dark red, and the rest are clear. This is an ant, like a citrine colored rhinestone. These are rhinestones. That one looks a little dark in there, but that's, that's a good price for it, I think. I mean, I know it is. Um, okay, Barbara, thank you. Barb, not Barbara. Yeah, I'm hoping my one lady has an estate sale as well. Um, this weekend, the one that I like, her, she's 
just the best one that I've gone to so far. Let me find your lovely Jose. You go. <laughs> okay. Um, I am shopping online though too, though, because like I said, I don't find a lot like the Jose and stuff in the stores all the time. I was happy to find that lot. This, I believe this is, um, look how long the pin is on this. This is nice. Those are rhinestones, obviously, but in enamel. I don't think this is 197. I don't know how old this is. Okay, let's let's just put it at that. I, it's vintage. <laughs> I can try to screw the data because I don't know. I think it's older by the way it looks. Then um, I want to say mid-century, but then I see the enamel ink, and I I don't know. So whatever, it's just vintage, guys. Pretty uh, citrine, dark citrine color. This almost looks like crystals to me. Look, I but whatever. The the rhinestones are crystals. Something in there. So it's a two and a half inch porch. Has a long pin coming out the side. Openings in the back. Let me see what that looks like back there. I can't tell. Okay, it's nice though. It's a nice pin, and it's on my hands. Not the best display. Let me hang it up on this. Like I said, I sacrificed this. It's sacrificed for the cause. It's all beat up anyways. Do you notice what happens to them after you have them? They start to get messed up unless you really buy the good ones, which I don't want to put money in. This is a nice, this is a nice brooch. This is, um, it's 28 though, if anybody wants it. It's enamel, metal enamel. And I did see a tiny bit of like right there, a little piece of wear there, but, um, stones are amazing in there there's the back it's opened i don't see foil um it's really hard to okay i don't see foil all right i don't know though i think the rhinestones were like a calm crystal 28 if anybody wants that like a three inch brooch I don't, how are you supposed to hang it i think like that all right i'll leave that there for a minute what else do I have left from that lot? I have another, I have a pair of earrings that somebody told me they think are Hobe. Kate messaged. I was thinking, um, I don't know who they are, but that's what she said. They're pretty nice. I'll show those next. Let me pass on this. I can't show this because I can't read it. I just want to make sure I'm not selling real gold for gold filled prices are lower, actually. I think gold filled prices, some of the stuff, you know, I don't want to do that. This is nice. This is cameo. I, this is a cameo. And that's glass. Exact contents. I don't know. Yeah, it probably would look better upside down. That's why I was seeing. But it, that's on the bottom. It's a nice pen. Brooch. Okay, this is, that's the back. There's no markings on this. It can be worn as a brooch. It's about two and a half inches. Or it can be worn as a pendant. It's pretty. Kind of reminds me of like a West Germany look, but there's no marking on it. So I don't know. It's nice. This cameo, if anybody wants it, is it's 26. She's pretty. She has her hair. She has like a thing around her hair there. And um it's glass. I don't know if it's all one piece or if that is like glued on top of there. I honestly, I can't tell um, by looking at it if it's all one piece or if it's just like, a, I think it's like attached to there, honestly, but I really don't know. Here, let me show it to you, maybe. It's pretty, though. It's a costume cameo. I'll pass on it. All right. Um, I like that one. I thought it looked like West Germany. Um, oh, here's the Monet. Let me show the Monet. Look at that ring. I have stuff like laying everywhere. I don't know what I showed when I didn't. Um, well, I do, but it's all mixed, and I don't like that. I think I showed all the birches except for this one. This one has, let me show this first. Well, let me show the Monet. Why not? Look at this, guys. Here's the signature on it. Again, I don't know the dating on this. I, I, I would suspect it's more modern. I don't honestly don't know, though. It's engraved in there. Monet. use my dirty oh, I think it works better than the big one 
All right, it's signed Monet with a copyright before. It's engraved in there. This has a one inch extender on it. It's right there. These are all clear rhinestones in here. And it looks like it has like a rhodium plating in the back of it. I, I'm having trouble with it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it like <laughs> so I can hang it up. There, there we go. All right, it's pretty. There's, see, it has like an Art Deco look to it, like style. I'm not saying it's Art Deco. I don't know when the necklace was made. It's a fold over clasp. I think it looks more modern than that to me. There's the back. Again, the maker's mark is engraved with a copyright before the Monet. And this piece comes off. Let me tell you how long it is. Like, it is a one inch extender on it. Um, it looks like it, it, it came with a necklace, like, you know, it was made for it. It's not real long. It's saying closed. It's saying 17. So this is an 18 inch necklace. Oh, you think maybe I need to pee? <laughs> Quiver, you think I have to take a piss or, or do you think I have to poop? Or is that what you're saying? Like I'm full of shit. No, I'm joking. Um, this is Monet. <laughs> It's beautiful. This is what I would want for it. What do you, I think as buyers, we should have rules for sellers. Must give three minute every third. You know where I work, I work nonstop. Somebody with a whip back here smacking me. Um, no, okay. Um, I don't know. This is what I, $40 if anybody wants that. I think it's pretty fabulous. Look at the little extender, it does come off. Look at P. This is Monet. It's very beautiful, actually. I think it's worth more than that, but I, I don't know exactly how much, honestly, and that's good enough for me. All right, well, where did my daughter always, my oldest daughter, tease me, tell me I should start wearing a diaper because I pee like every hour. Thank you, Carolyn. Congratulations. Thank you. Now it's honestly, I still drink. I, it's lessened now. I'm like every three hours before I really have to go. I don't know what happened. She said kidney. Uh, she's a nurse. She said maybe of kidney. What did she call it? Kidney trauma or something? Kidney injury or something? I was like, no, maybe mom's healthier now. Thank you, Carolyn, and congratulations. Very beautiful necklace. You'll like that when you see it. It looks rhodium on the back. And I don't know how old it is. Again, I. Sometimes I just don't want to guess, okay? So I just tell you what it looks like and you can figure it out. If you know, you know. And if you don't, then neither of us know. How's that one go? <laughs> I don't want to get the wrong information. Oh, here's a Monet heart. You're welcome. Thank you. It's very pretty. Um, it looks, it signs like a couple pieces I have that I've actually kept. I just found that though. This is a Monet star. I think it's... Mine lessened now. I'm like every two to three hours. I'm okay. At one point, I was like every hour. I don't know what the hell was going on. Okay, this is a Monet brooch pin. It's a big Monet pin. It's gold tone. I, I don't know the dating on it either. Again, I don't know. I think it's 1980s probably. But anyways, if anybody wants it, this is what I'll sell it for. $15, the big Monet gold tone heart. And when are you going back, Gina, to try to get rid of those? I think it's a nice heart. I liked it. It's like three inches. Okay, Lori. Thank you. I'll, I'll start you a new uh, a new bag. This isn't too heavy. 15 for the Monet store. Yeah, you need to get it. Um... All right, Carolyn. Go. Um. Good luck at the doctor's appointment. I need to go to the doctor's. I I neglect myself. I can, can't deny. It. Yeah, take your phone to the bathroom with you. I do. That's why sometimes, like when I was would be talking to Gina, she'd be getting random messages because the phone would be in my pocket and I'd be call random phone calls. Should I say? <laughs> Because I would have it in my, like, laying against my chest, walking to go make my kid dinner. I'm, I'm usually doing more than one thing at a time. Unless I'm laying in bed watching TV, which I do like to do that, too. I can't lie. These uh, these are the ones that Kate told me. She thought, look, somebody told me. One of the subscribers. She's probably not even here. Um, 
And I looked them up and I think she might be right, but I don't know who the maker is. They have these like rondelles in their rhinestones and beautiful faux pearls and black. They look Japaning in the back like it's just black. They have the Miriam Haskell like thing. I'm not saying they're Miriam Haskell because they're not. Okay, but these are nice earrings. They have that like dome thing with the holes punched out every so often and then the cap piece put on it. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe not, but okay. These are pretty. I don't know who the maker is, but look how they're very nice. Actually, they're vintage earrings that came with that fancy lot with the hobe and other things. I ordered two off the same site. I was very happy with the stuff I found. Anyways, if anybody wants these, this is what I will sell them at. 24 if anybody's interested in them. They're really beautiful. That's black faceted glass on the ends. Faux pearls. And then you have these. What, um, I don't know if it's like A, B or... It doesn't look like check glass to me necessarily. And then there's the rondelles there. There's clear rhinestones. Like it's a ball actually. With pronged rhinestones. Again, I don't know who the maker is. But I think they're pretty nice. I watch TV in bed. It's my, uh, my enjoy. I've been watching Cold Case. <laughs> I've never seen, I've never watched it before. It's been out like 20 years ago. I'm always behind like 15, 16 years ago. It first started and I'm finally watching it. All right. I'll pass on these. Again, I don't know. They don't have a maker on them, but they're nice. They're nice earrings. If you have something that matches them or whatever, but, um, I gonna go get the kit soon. I did shower beforehand. I was thinking I'd do it after. I'm glad I didn't because I've never been done. This, I think this is far check up, uh, far uh, polished glass check glass. It's nice. It's a root beer colored. Um, they're glass beads. It does not have a strand. I mean, it does not have a. Goodness God, a clasp. It's a strand. It's very long. Let me give you the measurement on that. Yeah, that's a long time to be sober. Um, I never really had a drinking issue at all myself. With I'm glad for that. Um, it's easy, though, to get addicted to things, food, anything. You know what I mean? People, gambling, jewelry. This is 60 inches, basically. Something like 58, actually. Eh, is that right? Hold on, let me measure it again. I'm losing it. Um, I have it double, so I have to times it by four. This is basic math. Anybody want to help me? Um, we go. <laughs> the measurement is. We are at 15 inches times four is 60 inches. Yeah. It's nice, I think. And look at that's what it looks like. It's pretty. You see, like, the purple sh uh, sheen coming off of these. If anybody wants this, this is what I will sell it for. I think it's worth that $24. There is no clasp. I sold the five-string crystal. I'm sorry. Somebody else got that. She wanted to hope a. Why? Did you get the five-string crystal, Dana, or is that somebody else? She wanted to hope a. Barb got that. This is 24 if anybody wants it. This is fire polish check glass. A strand that's 60 inches. It's very long. But it does not have a clasp on it. You see how they shine like that lovely peacock color off of them. Nice glass beads. Um, who did it? Who? Dana got the five strand. All right. You guys can talk about that. If you want me to switch it up, let me know. Um, all right. There's that for 24 I think that's a good price on this, actually. This is a vintage necklace. Um, okay, Lori, thank you. Yeah, you do have it. I just, yeah, that's right. I just looked like I couldn't remember who had it. I think she wanted the three strand Hobe, I think, which was. If she wants that one, just let me know. I'll, I'll pay attention. <laughs> All right, this is um, check glass. It's pretty long, it's five feet. That's how tall I am, actually. Let me find Lori. Look at this. I just put yours in here. You have the star. Okay, thank you. All right. Wow, it's 2 two oh nine. I'll be here till like 2.30 and I'm going to go get to check. That's Eva. Look at this little disc. Does anybody remember this little thing? 
I don't know. I think it's jade. Look at it. I didn't know what it was. Like if it's just a goat or something. I showed this in my video close up. Since I don't think it's supposed to be a dragon. If it is, it doesn't look like one to me. I don't know. But it's a little disc. All right, just as if anybody wants this little disc, they can have this for five bucks. I don't know what the animal is on it. Kind of looks like a goat to me, but I believe this is Jade. <laughs> can you see it? It looks like it has horns. I, I, uh, hmm. It's cute. It has a little hole, like a very tiny hole that you can hang something on it. Okay, I see Sung first. I'm sorry, Natalie. For the, let me know what the animal is. If I think my daughter, she, the youngest one said she thinks it looks like a goat. I, but it doesn't glow either, so I don't know. I mean, I know Jade's not supposed to glow. If it does, it is filler, right? Um, it's I was called a little Jade disc. Thank you. Let me hold your bag. You're up here. Make that too. Yeah, that was Sung Lee. Thank you. Thank you. Again, I'm sorry, Natalie. Oh, wait, I have the stone necklace if I'm not about us. And trust, let's look at this. This is agate, I believe, all over, right? It's long. I saw somebody. Okay, this is a joke. Um, I saw somebody trying to sell one of these for $500, okay? I mean, and that is a joke. Um, It was longer than this, but it, it, I mean, my God. Here we have it. I don't know somebody. I mean, I've been off on things. So I know that I get off. Sometimes if I don't know how to price something, I start higher. That's all you learn. Um, <laughs> like the Shriner. I sold it for let, almost half of what I asked initially. So I did okay on it. 36 inches. But I ended up a little higher than what I should have at first, I think. 36 inches on this agate necklace with a barrel clasp. It's nice. And I do believe it's all agate. Um, if anybody wants this. This is the price for it. Um, not and. It's 18. I didn't put the money sign. It was an accident. It's very long. 36 inches with a... It does have that. And these are the stones. They have separators in between each one. The brass balls. This is... Actually, look. That looks like... A, oh, I don't know. There's multiple stones on her. I think it's agate for the most part. But it's a stone... Long stone necklace for... 18, if anybody's interested. I used it in my tea when I was sick. I um, mean, it did help my throat. All right, that one's 18. What else do I have? I have a bracelet I can't close. I don't think I'll offer that one. I mean, it'll go in a craft. Look, this, it cannot close it. It has more like amethyst and carnelian, multiple things on a tiger eye. Well, I'm close. Um, okay, hydrone, thank you. So, well, if anybody wants this, you can have this for five boxes, multiple stones. I cannot get it to open and close. I don't know why. But this one I'll put for hydrogen for um, 18 for the stone necklace, long stone. Thank you. If I don't sell this, it'll have to go into a lot. So, Lori, you said you'd take this. Is this what you wanted for five? I see Lori first. So. Let me make sure that's right. Um, Bagger beads. It feels great in my hands. I think I have one somewhere. All right, I know, I know, you're the only one of that first name. Okay. Let me find you. My bags are getting mixed up. Who did I? <laughs> I don't remember where they sold you. I know I sold you. Here we go. The yeah, okay, lovely copper peacocks. Okay. Um. You want me to switch that over to you? Um, the fuck the five strand. Uh, okay, to uh, for quiver. Okay, thank you. That, that's nice of you, Dana, to let her. Okay, Lori, you want this for five? Yeah, if you can restring, that's fabulous. It has some multiple stones on it. I I don't mess with that at this point. It's something I may learn at some time. I don't know. Or you might be able to get your husband to undo that, and then you can wear it like this. It's a, it's a nice little bracelet. I tried for like hours and I could not get it, so I, I gave up. I could admit that. Okay, you have the star and that, right? And then, okay, I'm going to switch over the five strand AB to quiver. Okay. 
from Dana. All right, thank you. I'll handle that. And Becky, I'm going to bill for Thomas. I, I have to get that together. All right, this is... I'm going to the last second, guys. I always do. Um, So I have to go get Eva. We have to go check out that stuff. And I have to make sure she knows. I, I don't know. Good God, I don't want to get stuck doing all that work. I'll say I was warned. <sighs> she wants too many animals. This is eight inches, just about. Look, it's rose quartz. It's one of those little flowers. And there's knotting in between these pieces, little chunks. And then you have the rose quartz flower. And that's the toggle. It's rose quartz as well. Let me measure it again. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said you wanted it. I made up your mind. I, okay, this is not quite not quite a, eight inches, actually. It's almost eight, like, from end to end. But I would say, really, um, you know, you have the some of the space is going to be that. So probably like a seven and a half. And this is rose quartz. I think it's pretty nice. If anybody wants it, it's, it's 15. It's a bracelet, obviously. Little rose quartz with that flower on there. Um, is that a lotus flower thing? All right. Thank you, Natalie. Congrats, it's pretty. Um, 15 sort of rose quartz. We find the bag. We have the little trees. Okay. All right. I have more. I have so much stuff on I don't really think this is made in France. If anybody wants this, some kind of plastics is made in France. It's a brick. You see under there? And I don't know what kind of plastic that is. Um, it's big, though. So it's like three inches. And you can hold a lot of hair if you have a big... I could probably pin mine up in that. If anybody wants this made in France, Brit, it's $8. Let's see if there's anything that I didn't show. Um, sorry. I'm going off screen, I think. I probably won't be able to overcap because it's getting late. Well, maybe I can I showed this last week. I'm going to show that again. That's plastic. It looks mother of pearly. It is not. I'll, I'll pass on it. I have this. I showed this last week. You want that, Dana? Okay. It's it's nice, I thought. I, um, I've never worn it, though. I usually throw my uh, hair up in a sloppy bun on the top of my head. Okay, the France large barrette. Thank you. What did I say for that? Eight. Okay. This necklace hair is nice. I think it's silk. It's strong. I believe it's strong on silk. Look, you have these beautiful um, glass beads. And then uh, I showed this last week. I'm going to offer it for less than anything. It's a tie necklace. You know, one of these things. Like, let me, like, double triple it up and hang it up and... You have two tassels, they're gray, and then everything is, it's strung and separated. I, I believe that is silk, but again, I'm not a fabric expert there, but that is a tie necklace. You have the larger ones down here, a lariat. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yes. It's all, there is no clasp, obviously, it just goes, it's very pretty, actually. Let me put a price up, see if anybody's interested in it. Um, 22. It's well made, actually. It's a very nice necklace, I think. Um, all right, Lori, thank you. Okay, thank you, Lori. Congrats. You find your bag. You have a number of items in here. I will invoice everybody this evening. Um, I'm not going yet. I'm still here for a couple minutes, but <laughs> I usually invoice the same day in the evening. What was Quiver saying something? This is Monet. Um, it's nice. Look, it has the safety chain and a little hang tag on it. This looks brand new. I think it's just like 80s. I am not really sure if it's before then. It's a dating again. I'm, I'm not 100% on it. Let me tell you what it looks like. It's Monet with a copyright after. 
That's what. And this safety chain, you can actually. Well, thank you. I, I have, or you talk about one of those crystal ones. I have one of them still. I'm going to keep that, the purple one. It didn't sell. Stuck it in with my, my stuff. Look, they have these chains. I'm sorry I'm hitting that. This one's different. It's a fold-over clasp. It's signed Monet back there. These are the ends. Not really sure on the dating on it, but it's all intact. The safety chain hooks over on the other end. I'll hang it up and show it to you. Um, I have a nice pair of earrings too, here, too. Molded glass that were from that lot. They're blue daisies. All right, Dana, thank you. You have, didn't you pre-register with me already? Or did you already tell me something that I forgot? If you did, I'm sorry. I don't remember if I sold you them. My brain um, takes me a while to remember. This is seven and a half inches. But thank you for being here. I, I will invoice you, okay? If you need to email me, please email me. I honestly can't remember. Look, all right, this is Monet, guys. <laughs> and it's in good shape. It's, I don't know how old it is, though, honestly. But it's all intact. It's signed. It has a hang tag. If anybody wants this little Monet, it's $22. Sorry, it was a long process for me to get that out, wasn't it? It has five or six chains on it. Five. One of the middle ones different. And the safety chain... Okay, I thought okay, I thought I saw an email from you. I still have it then I don't delete I haven't deleted. Like a like six probably like four months ago I deleted all my emails. But um that was it's you sent it after that. Jade pieces, um in front of me, no. I, I probably do some laying somewhere. Guess I'm having a hard time with it. There, I'm sorry. Here. All right, there it is. Monet bracelet. Safety chain's intact. <laughs> Let me just leave it laying there. Um, I sold most of the stone that came out of that thing, um, that, that lot. I do have some of the rhinestone stuff left. I'm running out of time. It's starting to feel frantic. Uh, um, I don't have any more here, though. I'm sorry. I did show mostly everything, but we'll pass on this. These earrings are nice. I'll bring some on Monday or next one, next Thursday if I have any. I'll, I'll look. Okay. They're glass. This is, look, I said that reminds me of a coffee table. Kind of molded glass. These are um, blue sunflower earrings. They're nice. I. They look gold plated to me. They have a gold tone. They're gold tone. These are like an inch, a little over. They're clips. There is no maker's mark. I thought they were cute. If anybody likes these, they are yeah, 20. The only thing left of stone is this thing is like some has some faux amber on it. I believe that's faux amber. Yeah, it is faux amber. That's what it looks like. And I think it's halite. Um, it tests as stone. Halite is considered stone, right? Oh, wait. That might actually be turquoise. I don't know. i got to wait. i got to evaluate this. See what this thing is. Before I offer it, um, but it's it's while well, it's close to two thirty. I have a brooch. I have a number of things I didn't show and I didn't recap, but those are blue sunflowers molded glass. They're vintage, just what they look like in the back. I saw one pair online and they were calling them loose sight, but these are not loose sight. Um, these are definitely glass. But we'll pass on those. I have this one I didn't show yet. So look, this looks older. This is it's like um, opal glass there. and pink um, rhinestones and clear. It looks like a heart kind of. But look, on the back you have these two, the hooks on the side, like two there and one here. I don't know why it has all those hooks on it. I don't even really know how old it is. It looks vintage to me. It, I think it's nice. Anyways, if anybody would want this one, um, I, I'd sell it for 28 I think it's worth that. But I believe that's a heart. Doesn't it kind of look like a heart? No. Like opal glass and... The pink is a very nice, like, 
pinkish lavender color of rhinestone that I've never really seen before in any of Claire. Every so, like that's a Claire one. These two are pink. Those are pink. Every so often. I wonder if it was hooked off as something. You see, look, take a look. Like, like you have that. And then over here, you have two. All right, I'm going to pass on. It's getting really close. I think I showed everything. If I didn't show something um, that you saw, well, I didn't do a preview. Didn't really know it. Um, I offered this for 75 which I think was a great deal. Look at the moonstones on it. And it's moonstone, sterling, and amethyst necklace. It's a heart. It's sterling silver. And it's beautiful moonstone on there. I think that's a uh, uh, rainbow moonstone. Blue flash. And those are amethyst. Here's the back. I tested it too. It's marked 925. There's one list that like it's online. They say it's vintage. I necessarily wouldn't call that vintage. I mean, it has that. It's very nice though. It's a very um, nice necklace. Okay, I didn't know if anybody different popped in. So previews for most part, I sold mostly everything. I had to Kramer of um, New York, which I started at 50. That's pretty beautiful too. Most of it, well, not all of it sold, but a lot of it did. I do have some random things laying around that didn't know. That was one of them. I had some champagne pearls that I was offered for 15. It was, yeah, and I, should, I think most of you guys, ladies may have been here. Yeah, I really like it. Um, I've never worn it, though. It's been hanging in the back of me. All right. I guess that's it. I will. I had that. That's online. I got to adjust the price. I don't need, like I said, I didn't see any like that exactly to, some of them go really high and some go mid-range on the drillery. It depends. All right. That's it for today. I will be back. <clears throat> I'll invoice tonight. I'll have a haul video on Saturday. I'm probably not coming on again. I was saying I might do another, like, pop-up, but I don't think I will. Um, sure enough, I can invoice. I can, uh, I can ship on Saturday morning. Probably it'll take me about that long because after the invoicing. You know, it takes a little bit of time. But I can get yours out Saturday. Unless you want me to hold it. But I think I'll, I'll weigh yours. Do you live, are you local? Why are you, I don't know why I always think you're, yeah, you're in Canada. <coughs> I'll weigh it and I'll let you know what the shipping is. It shouldn't be over the eight ounces, so, but I don't know. But anyways, um, I'll send it out on uh, Saturday if that's what you'd like. I'll invoice you this evening, early evening. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, thank you for coming, everyone. Um, Quiver, thank you. Think I'm sweet. <laughs> thank you for coming. I appreciate that. I appreciate everyone being here with me. And I'm going to go get Eva. Invoice after we go out and I make dinner. Uh, it'll be early evening, though. All right. Again, a haul on Saturday and no more sales this week, I don't think. I think it's probably been enough of me. <laughs> I will see you all later. Thank you. Have a good day.